Hey everyone, Cody here, and you should be happy. I'm coming out of retirement for you guys. I know, I painted a few times already, but anyway, I hope that this setup works. I'm trying to make it work with the room that I have left in the garage. You know, after I stopped painting, we kind of moved things around and I lost a big part of that. So I'm literally right here in the middle of the garage. So please ignore everything else on the ground. I had to make space for this thing. But the reason I'm here today is because I wanted to test out a method that I saw on Instagram. So let me grab the canvas here. So we will start with our canvas. So basically what the, uh, the method is, is you use fluid acrylics and then you use a paper towel to move them around to basically make the painting and, and you make either a scrape painting or you make these like kind of squares or whatever. I think I'm going to go for the squares and I've never used this. I've never done this technique. Hey, we should eat that. Um, I've never done this technique. I only saw it on Instagram a couple days ago and you know sometimes it takes those those inspiring videos or, or to see like a different method or subject matter to kind of re-inspire you to paint again. So here we are. So let me get this uh, plastic off. And I, uh, I realized that I'm actually very close to uh, 10,000 subscribers. And first off, I just have to say thank you. Um, I'm very grateful for everyone that subscribes to me even though I don't really paint anymore I'm still grateful especially if this is your first time kind of seeing some of my videos um, I'm, I'm very grateful thank you and I'm just letting you know I ramble so I apologize all right so we got our canvas here and we are going to go ahead and get our paints so today um, and as far as gloss and enamel paintings go I know that the Pollock style paintings is kind of what put me on the map um, I actually would like to do some gloss enamel paintings, but the price of gloss enamel paint has actually gone up quite a bit. So I kind of lack the funds currently. Um, if you're interested in donating to the gloss enamel fund, um, I can leave some links in the description area. I will also link to a private or unlisted video of paintings that I have for sale. So if you want to buy some, all that money will just actually go right back into painting again. So, you know, if you're interested in that, feel no uh, obligation to do so, but if you're interested, then cool. All right, now let's get into it. I've got the paints here, or the paint, sorry. I've got my bag of paints here. We're gonna be using, um, we're gonna be using these fluid acrylics. So let me move some of this stuff off screen here and put these down. You may hear crying, it is my kitten. She's very upset that I locked her out. All right, so I've got a combination of Artist Loft, um, fluid acrylics and also uh, Liquitex. I got all this stuff at Michael's, so, you know, very easy to get. But I got both because I wanted to see if there is, you know, a noticeable difference, like in the quality. You can kind of see right there that there's a little, I don't know if that's separation in the paint or it just sat there and kind of, I don't know. We're going to have to shake them up to find out. But I wanted to see if there's like a thickness difference, like if the artist loft is thinner um, or if there's less pigment in it. And I wanted to just kind of kind of test those out. Now, as far as the colors we're going to use today, actually, I guess that's not going to work because the colors I wanted to use today, I will not be using these. So we're, we're kind of working on the fly here. I actually have some different colors here and I don't know that this is going to make a very good painting but we're going to go for it. So actually I'm not going to test those artists loft. I lied to you and I apologize because I'm not a liar. Uh, we're going to we're actually going to use these because I want to try to make kind of these big squares with the, the paper towel. So essentially what it is is you put the paint on there and then you like use the paper towels to kind of make the design. I've never seen anything like it um, I'm interested to see how it goes. So let's jump in. All right, so we're gonna start by putting our paint on the canvas. And of course, they all have the seals, so we need to I'll uh, take care of that. Let's put that over there. I'll make that trash bag. 
Um, you know, I wanted to tell you kind of an interesting story while I'm doing this, just to stall you, really. Um, the So the setup here is I, I got a tripod from Walmart because it's right on the street from me. And then I bought this microphone that's attached to the phone um, on Amazon. The, the microphone is actually decent. It's like a, it's like a $40 microphone, but the sound by the phone itself is not good enough to carry across the table. Um, I also got this like light um, that I installed today just for you guys. And it's one of those like three pronged LED lights that you can buy for your garage. And I installed it today and put it above this. So actually dedicated light source for the table is actually pretty choice because it was it was actually pretty dark. I didn't realize how dark it was in here. And I'm sorry if I ever subjected you guys to that. But I didn't realize how dark it was until I put this thing in and then realized how bright this light is compared to the um, lights that are already in here, these fluorescents. Um, I'm thinking about getting one more light. They do have these like LED. They're basically the shape of fluorescents, but they are LED. And I was thinking about getting one of those and installing it right above where I'm standing. So it's definitely just like, it's more bright in here. You can see everything. But I'm telling you, like if you go back and watch the, the last couple of painting videos I did and you will see the difference. Like this, this light is... Uh, it's pretty nice. My fingers are already already getting it. Actually, those are some, some pretty cool colors. So um, essentially with the uh, the method, you just, what's nice about this method, I guess, is that you can use the paper towel to make the squares. And then you can, you know, if, you, if it starts to like bleed in the colors too much, you can actually just rip off that layer and then just do it again. So kind of interesting. I've never seen it. Oh, well, yeah, that's cool. Um, I've never seen it before. And the guy I just found on Instagram while I was like waiting for something, I was just scrolling through Instagram and I saw him making the paintings and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. I kind of want to try that. And I've actually never used, I've used fluid acrylics like once or twice. So I'm like, I'm not actually pretty familiar with them. And I think the only reason he uses fluid acrylics is because they like, they move on the canvas a little better. Um, that's my assumption. I don't I don't know for sure, but we'll just give these one a good shake and then we will actually jump in. Oh, back to that story that I was going to tell you. I told you I rambled. Um, so the the tripod that the um, that the camera's on and I'm going to go ahead and start putting the paint on on the canvas. I don't actually know how much paint we're supposed to use. So this is going to be a learning experience for both of us. But anyway, this the the tripod that the camera is on. Um, I went to Walmart and I was just looking for a tripod, right? But there was like nobody in the electronic section, which I mean, tends to happen right at Walmart. And so I, I put the, uh, like it was behind, it was on one of those little hooks or whatever, where it has like the little red cap or whatever that's like stops it from coming off the hook on the shelf. And it was on one of those, or it was on one of the little hooks and it had one of those things. And I was like impatient because there was nobody in electronics like to help me. And so I was like, well, I don't want to be here all day. So I took that little red cap thing off. Now I'm not suggesting that you do this and I probably should not have done it myself. But I took that little thing off and I took it from the hook. And then I, it's not like I was going to steal it. I mean, it's this big old tripod, right? But I took the tripod and I started like walking away with it. Well, I went to another aisle to go get, um, I don't know, I think I went to get light bulbs or something. And I was down one of the aisles and this guy that's a Walmart um, employee, he kind of walks up to me and is like, oh, where'd you get that tripod? Um, that thing looks cool. looks like you could use it for like a level or something, right? You could, you know, not just like a camera, but like a level or something. Oh, that's pretty cool. Where'd you get it? And I was like, electronics? It's like, oh yeah, that that's a that looks like a nice tripod. It's not, right? It's really cheap. Um, and I was like, okay. And then he's like, all right, have a good day. And so I knew like immediately like what he was trying to do, right? So he was probably with like their loss prevention team or something. And he was kind of like, trying to let me know that they knew that I had taken that out. And so it was just kind of funny because like, you know, he obviously didn't say that, but I, I like knew what was going on. <laughs> like, you know, I mean, we both kind of knew 
why he was there. Like, why would a random employee walk up to me and ask me about their tripod when they couldn't even help me in the department it was in? And especially, uh, employees almost never ask you if you actually need help, unless you're, like, there for a long time. Then they might ask, but, um, yeah, they don't ask. Come on. All right. And, and that's not to knock anyone, so if you work there, I'm not, I'm not knocking you. I just mean in general, um, with customer service, you tend not to get help. All right. So we've got this. I don't know what I'm doing. Guys, this is a first for me too. I do like the way that they look. It's kind of cool. Let's just call it a day. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to use more, less. I actually don't know. I feel like this isn't enough. Um, and it's not my insecurity talking, I promise. I just don't know how much I'm supposed to use. I didn't, you know, I saw the videos a couple times, but you know, I didn't, uh, I didn't take notes. So, you know, we're gonna throw a little bit more on here. We're gonna figure this out, guys. I think we could probably, probably, it's, uh, it's killing me. Let's do a little bit more red and then we'll, then we'll call it good. All right, so we've got our paints. I don't even know where to start, honestly. Um, so let's just, uh, let's start here. Oh, I should go all the way through. Okay. Let's go. Huh. That's kind of cool. Oh, it's definitely not enough paint. There's a lot of paint on the uh, the roll here. You can kind of see it. It actually looks pretty cool. Um, so I'm wondering if we can go like right here. Actually, that looks pretty cool. But I don't want to keep like blending them over and over again. So we're actually going to pull this layer off. And I'm going to set it aside. <laughs> it does bleed through a little bit. But... I'm going to hold this. Okay, so a couple of impressions here. It actually looks really cool. I actually like, really like it. Um, what I want to do is kind of fill in some of these gaps. So I do think that we need like bigger splotches, I guess. So I think you really do have to kind of fill the, uh, the canvas with the paint. I'm going to fill in some of these gaps here. Um, I think I did purple, so I'll do turquoise. And I think I need green and red, so I'll do a little bit more here, here, here. And then red, I will do a little bit here, 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 here. Okay, so it does take a decent amount of paint, you know, apparently. And just want to make sure that the phone is still recording. All right, so we've got it. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to turn that. Yo, that looks pretty dope. We're gonna go over it one more time. Dude, that actually looks pretty good. I'm gonna push this out to the edge and then come back. You know, I actually don't hate this. Okay, so I think it's starting to uh, to mix the colors. So we're gonna take off this layer. Dude, that's awesome. You could do scrape paintings, but keep it clean as you go because you're taking the layers off. Why have I never seen this before? All right, gonna go over here. 
I'm going to pick up some of these colors and I'm actually going to go back to the edges and then come through here. Whoa, that orange is awesome. So I'm actually going to flip this around because I, I almost want to keep the orange um, and then go back the other way. Actually, I can't. Well, yeah, I can. I just got to hold it like this. I'm going to move. The, I don't know if you guys can see these on the edge, but I've got the paints on the edge here. So I'm going to move those and then we're going to go. No. Go over it this way. Oh, I got paint on my shoe. All right, so I've got some excess paint here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to use it. Actually, I don't like it being partial, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it all the way through. Yo, this might be one of my most favorite techniques I've ever done. I'm being Dead serious, 100% serious. I've never been so excited about doing these paintings. Um, it actually makes some really cool paintings. So I'm gonna fill in some of these gaps here. And I have this gap here and I've got some little gaps but I could always fill those in with a paintbrush if I had to. This is the biggest thing for me. Um, so I wonder if I, I wanna use this but I don't want to like smear the colors. So I wonder if I could go this way. Okay, so the trick is not to push down too hard. Um, I am going to put some more paint and go over it one more time. So again, we can pull this layer off, which is awesome. And I am using like shop towels. I don't know if you're supposed to, but um, I kind of want to see if I can maybe turn it and then go this way across, or maybe I should just put a little bit more paint. It is a little thin right here, so maybe I'll do paint right here all the way across. And then this. Yeah, that's filled. Awesome. Dude, this is pretty cool. I'm actually really excited. Um, all right, so looks like we're low on purple here. We, all, we could also do some of that pink. So we'll kind of, Let's put a little bit of that on there. So we'll do some of the purple and some of the pink. But I actually want to do this section here. And it looks like we've got some of the turquoise and the red. So let's actually do some more of those. So we'll do the turquoise and we'll do the red. I'm gonna put it right there, just so that it really kind of fills it in. And then a little blue, or orange, I don't know what I'm talking about. And purple. And yeah, we'll call that good. All right, so take the paper towels. All right, and I'm gonna push down a little bit. Dude, that is a beautiful looking painting. I'm not even lying. This is awesome. This has made me excited to paint again. Honestly, I might do more of these paintings Okay, this is the only issue I'm having. So I'm gonna put the paint, I'm gonna put this sideways. I'm gonna fill this in just to, just so it's not like all white. And then this, I should be able to just kind of do that. And then this one, I could probably take some of this paint here and fill that. Okay, so I'm still light on paint down here. I don't like that. Like, I want it to be even. Um, these layers up here is great. 
And I can always kind of fill this in with the blue. I think. I don't know. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. This is the only thing that's bothering me just because it's not as painted. So I'm going to pull this off one more time. Wherever the end is. I'm going to pop that layer off. <clears throat> and I'm going to set this over here real quick. We're going to put a little bit more paint over here just to try to get it um, filled in. Dude, this is awesome. This is... <laughs> This is pretty cool. I, I really like this, actually. I, I didn't think that I would have fun, honestly, painting again. Like, I just kind of figured uh, it was done. It was over. But painting with... And this is crazy because this is a, a super easy um, method of painting. And anyone can do this. So I'm actually excited because this is a method that you yourself could do. Um very easily. All right. Well, I think we've got enough paint over there. All right. And look at my hands. That's actually kind of cool. It looks pretty cool. All right. Here we go. We're going to try to move some of these paints down. And I'm just going to lightly push down on it. I'm not pushing too hard. I'm just like barely dragging it across. I'm not. Yes! It looks awesome! Dude, this is awesome! That's awesome! I'm actually gonna call it good here. Because I don't wanna. <laughs> I don't wanna go over it too much and then ruin it. So I'm just gonna. I wanna fill in sort of this, this top area. Um, just because the edge is a little undone and there is a little bit of rough edge here. No! Okay, so I'm going to fill that in with some of the paint. Um, now, the only issue I have is this. I kind of messed that up a little bit, and I don't want to leave it. So I am going to kind of try to blend it a little bit. There we go. I think I got it. Kind of blended it in to the colors so I didn't go all the way across. Oh my gosh. Dude, this this painting looks awesome. I actually, I'm really impressed. I, I didn't think that I was going to like this like technique, but it looks so cool. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the for the video, guys. Honestly, like that's the painting. Um, I don't want it to shift around too much, so I don't want to move it up too much but there it is that's the final piece yo i would make more of these paintings i would i would 100 percent do more of these paintings like hands down super super cool super exciting i i actually like this a lot so yeah i mean that's it for the video guys like i said I've got some paintings for sale. I will post the link in the description. If you want to send some money just to buy supplies, I'll make more of these paintings. I don't even care. I, I had a lot of fun. It combines my love of scraped paintings with affordable acrylic paint that I can actually get a hold of very easily. So I would do more of these paintings. If you want to see more of these, let me know in the description area or the comment section. If you want to buy this painting, let me know. Um, but it, it would be difficult for me to ship this because it's four feet. So just know it, it is hard for me to ship these types of paintings. Um, it would be at least $500 for this painting. But you can make it yourself. That's the cool part. You just saw it. So the supplies, just so you know, this amount of paint and this canvas got everything at Michael's. You could probably get it for $75, maybe less if it's on sale. Let's say 100 at the most. Um, for all of this to make your own painting like this, uh, less than a hundred bucks. So very cool. Very exciting. I actually am very glad that I painted today, which I wasn't going to do. So anyway, 
I, um, I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully I can get a gloss enamel painting done, a Pollock style painting. But if not, we will do some more of these because this was actually fun for me. And you know, it's very hot outside. So it's hard for me to record anyway. Um, the Pollock style painting says I have to do them outside and it's very hot outside in Arizona. So anyway, that is it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. I think it turned out great and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. God bless. Bye.